Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pete from uh, ForYourVitaHype.com, doing our continuing our series of PSP games on the Vita. Um, trying to take a look at what games get the best visual upgrades, uh, which games benefit from the second stick, and whatnot. And uh, as you probably have noticed by now, this is Killzone Liberation. Um, this game is a little bit older than than some most of the games I've covered so far, um, and a lot of people. Uh, it's actually been the most requested game um, that that I do, um, and this game is really awesome. But it is it's different than what you would think it's going to be. It is um, as you can see here. It's a top down shooter, um, but it's not particularly action oriented. I mean it is it is action oriented. I, sh I shouldn't say it's not action oriented, but it's very tactical. It's about sort of taking cover, giving commands, um and uh just I don't know, just being slow and using tactics. Like you can't just run around and fire, you know, like you're playing some sort of like twin stick shooter. Um doesn't really work like that. I mean, I'm early in the game right here, so I don't have to use very much in the way of tactics. I think this is level 1-3. Um, right now I have an AI partner, but that's not my usual AI partner. They're, um, coming up later in the video, you'll see how you give commands to to uh, Rico, or whatever the heck his name is. Um, but yeah, so you know, squatting down with the with the right trigger um, makes your sort of cone of bullets much tighter, and it makes it easier to kill people. And like as you see, like I'm squatting behind the cover there, and then I pop up and I shoot, then I squat behind the cover again when the bullets come in. And uh, you know, it's 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 very cool sort of thinking man shooter. Um, I mean, it's like this on level 1-3. You can just imagine what it's like once you get, you know, 15, 20 levels into it. Um, so here, this is actually a level earlier. This is 1-2. Um, and that's me. They That's a little sort of tutorial thing on how to res. But as you can see here, um, I'm about to... If you hit up on the D-pad, which I've moved to the right stick, so you hit up on the right stick, you you get a bunch of sort of flags and that's you send your AI guy to those um, you don't have to order them around like right now I just brought up that menu then I hit circle and circle makes them just follow me um, but what it does do is once you get to, you don't you don't need it on this level because it's the <laughs> it's early in the game but like as you can see I just selected um, or I'm going to select the guy over there. So when I select an enemy guy, it's telling him, like, I want you to focus fire on that enemy. Um, so you can tell him where to go, and you can tell him who to kill. Um, and, and the game pretty much stops. It, it, it doesn't quite stop. It just slows down very slow while, while you issue those commands. Um, so, But it adds a very cool tactical layer to the game. Um, and here I'm dis dismantling some stuff, so I'm gonna go and have tell him to kill a guy. He gets a little bit confused here, as you can see. This is one of the limits of the AI, like with the walls and stuff. He's not really sure how to get to to that dude. Um, they're playing sort of cat and mouse, so I just get the job done myself in a second. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's an awesome game, man. I mean, it's $16, I think. It's a little overpriced, but, um, I don't know. I think it's fantastic. So, thanks for watching. Check out the site.